Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about plot holes in Saved by the Bell. Do 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 do, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I have almost completed the fourth season. Well, it's on Hulu, but Hulu counts the original, like, Good Morning Miss Bliss as a season. So, on there, it's considered season five. So, yeah, just to let you guys know, they're all on Hulu. Um, and then, like, the spinoff shows are on Hulu as well. I haven't gotten to those yet because I'm, I'm about midway through season five. But I've read most of the synopsis of those and I, I kind of know what they're about. So, here I am to tell you the plot inconsistencies. So, the first one that I seen was, that I noticed, was that in, um... Season 1, well, considering Season 1, which really is Season 2 on Hulu, okay, is supposed to be freshman year, and in that first, in that whole season, there's actually two episodes of Homecoming. So, there's a plot line right there that doesn't work. You can't have two Homecomings in one year. Mm, same school, same things. Um, it was a first appeared when uh, Kelly is trying to win for prom queen. And then, you know, the skin thing breaks out or whatever. There's that episode. And then later on, I have the exact episodes in my notes that I'll probably write in the description. But later on in that season... Towards the end of the season, it's Zach and Slater doing a prank wars on Valley, which is also claimed to be during homecoming season or homecoming week. Hmm, inconsistencies because time has passed way, way beyond. If they wanted to do that, they should have aired it like the episodes back to back, and that would make more sense. So we wouldn't think it's like a different time. But this is, like, many, many episodes later. So, plotline doesn't make sense. Timeline doesn't make sense. The second one, going off of that, is <clears throat> the sports season does not make sense then. Because in that same season, they... So, obviously, homecoming... Homecoming is football. Slater is in football. But... Uh, a few episodes after that, they're talking about wrestling. Wrestling and football are not in the same season. They're not. <laughs> they're not in the same season. <laughs> it's football and then wrestling. So they got that part right. But then with the second episode of Homecoming, that makes it switch back to football, which does not make any sense. You can't be switching back and forth from football and wrestling. Doesn't make any sense. Um. <laughs> oh, lordy. Just, oh. Uh. All right. The next reason that there's inconsistencies in the plot line is because... So, we're supposed to believe, like I said, that seasons seasons 1 through 4, or 2 through 5, whatever way you look at it, is supposed to be freshman year through senior year. However, they start out season 2, or season 3, whatever way you look at it from the Hulu and perspective, they start out episode 1 with prom. And they all go to prom. They don't. That's an inconsistency because they. Unless you're having like. No, I mean, not even. They can't even. They're sophomores. They're not juniors. They're not seniors. They don't get asked by older people. 
Prom doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. So they have it in season two, which is their sophomore year. Right at the beginning, which doesn't make any sense either because right at the beginning should be fall time, not springtime, where prom happens. And then in and then the fact is that they in they're in junior year, no mention of prom whatsoever. So how one year you go to prom and then the next you don't you don't mention anything when it's and it should be flip flopped. Mind blown. Mind blown. Now the last season, however you look at it, four or five, depends on what you're watching it on. If you buy it or if you count the original series season. Um, that one is just complete mm, bogus. It's bogus. It rips off the other seasons. That's, that's how lame they got. Like, you can't come up with your own ideas. You have to remake, pretty much re almost remake episodes and do a new twist on it. Really? Really? They did that in two instances. Um, for one, the very first episode of the last season is straight, straight <laughs> reboot of what happens in the original first season. Is that Slater and Zack get in a fight over a girl. Now, season, the last season, it's more like a physical fight in competition where the first one wasn't physical. It was just kind of more talk and whatever. But they're fighting over the same girl. Season one is Kelly and season five or four, whatever you want to say, is the new girl. I can't even remember her name. The one that replaces Jessie. Uh, excuse me, same plot line. Hmm, why would I want to watch that again? No, no thanks. Okay, um, then the next time that they straight up ripped off the original, one of the originals, is, um, when they did the teen line. And so, in the last season, they're trying to figure out ideas to raise money for some something, you know, or another. They're always raising money, right? But the new girl suggests, like, oh, let's do a teen line. And they freaking, all the other characters act like they've never heard of it in their lives. Like, Zach's like, oh, what's that? Like, and they're all like, oh, what's that? They freaking did that in the other seasons. They straight up had... And Zach made money off of it. 1-800-CRUSHED. Um, mm, yeah, th Lisa gave gossip and, d or advice. They gave advice for money. But this one in the last season, they just do it to raise money. And they're just helping, they're helping teens. Like an anonymous hotline. But it's the same concept. One, you know same concept they were both teen lines and they what like what bothers me is they act like they don't they don't know nothing about it it's like oh what is that I've never heard of that I'm they've freaking done that themselves the last thing that I thought was a plot inconsistency is that they were not um the dating stuff does not make sense in oh shoot I can't remember the episodes but in the later season oh, I think it's in the new season even or like the late the last season or the fourth fourth or fifth season compared to what do you see 
um, that Lisa and Zach like each other, right? They like each other. And then, and, um, Screech says, you know, that Zach and him can't be friends, whatever, because he like Lisa. And Screech finally at the end, like, gives up Lisa to Zach and is, like, saying, oh, yeah, I need to let go of my first crush, whatever. And so at the end of the episode, it seems like Zach and Lisa are, like, an item. Like, they are dating. They're going to go date now. Only a few episodes later, they're acting like nothing ever happened. Like, they're not together. Uh, Lisa's wondering if Zach's her secret admirer. And it's Screech the whole time. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Only a couple... What? What? And Zach acts like he doesn't like Lisa, but all of a sudden, like, Lisa would be interested in him if it was their secret admirer. So, like, she semi-acts like like that interaction happened because she like all of a sudden likes Zach and that wouldn't have made sense to her character if she didn't like him before. But Zach doesn't say that he likes her in that episode. Doesn't really make sense. And Screech vowed to like that he was going to get over Lisa and not do all the weird stuff anymore. But yeah, he's He's on going about Lisa again. And that literally was probably, I want to say like two or three episodes after that episode. It just, so it, you know, I understand that sometimes they don't connect. They're supposed to, you know, be a whole different story. But then why do, why do some things carry over and some things don't? You know, why do Zach and Kelly dating continuously dating that what does that carry over why does you know Jesse and Slater carry over for quite a while um you know why does Zach and uh the girl from the beach beach um where they work at the beach thing what does that carry over for a while like I don't get it why some things carry over and once some things don't Another thing that um, I didn't write in my notes, but I noticed is that that may be an issue for some people, but you know in some shows how, you know, let's say Pretty Little Liars, for instance, how the teenager ends up with an adult sexually or relations and, like, they have to be hush-hush secretive about it or, like, you know, and obviously they did that in that show. They did secrets, you know, Arya and Ezra, whatever, and then when, like, people found out, like, it was, like, they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, like, it's a big deal. In Saved by the Bell, we have um, an instance where... Zach is dating an older girl, an older lady, the girl from the beach house, who is supposedly, what, supposed to be college age or adult age. It's kind of unsure because her actual boyfriend was from college, so that's kind of up in the air, like, how old she's supposed to be. But she is an adult. That means she's an adult if she w would be college age. Why would she date a high schooler? Then it wasn't really even a secret because when her dad found out, he was sort of okay with it. He he didn't see like nothing was wrong with it. You're like, what? What? And all the friends didn't see anything wrong with it either. What? What? Like, I get that relationships, but you would think everyone would be, you know like, astonished by it, or, like, say that that's kind of wrong, you know, why does everyone just take it as it is? Why, why is nobody questioning in it? You know, at least in other shows, 
there are people willing to question it. Why, why would you not question it? And then not only does that happen to Zach, then, like, around the same time, actually earlier, it happens to Kelly when Kelly starts dating the new Max owner. What? This guy is a full-blown adult. He, if he's buying his own restaurant, he's an adult. He is an adult, and you're dating, and she's supposed to be in high school? Nobody, nobody, cons- nobody drew concern to it. Nobody did. Until after the fact, not even after, but, like, how he was, like, a cheater or whatever, but he was an adult. Why was nobody raising questions at that? Not only was she, he, her boss, but he was, he's an adult. People raise questions about it. I just, that's it. Don't get me wrong. I... Like, I loved when Ezra Ezra and Arya were together on Pretty Little Liars, but shouldn't you still raise questions about it? Why no one raised questions? I mean, in that show, they did. Saved by the Bell? No, nobody seems to raise questions. Don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, anyway, so that are my plot inconsistencies in Saved by the Bell. Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up. Bye, everyone.